Well, thanks everybody for coming. So excited to have everybody here and the first of many, I think, of all these exciting events we're going to have here. So I'm very excited. So I'd like to thank Vanessa and the Seven Crows Center for hosting the event. Oh. <laughs> it's an awesome space. So uh, excited to. Um, here and so everybody pretty much knows who I am. So um, I just want to go over a little bit about why I wrote the book. And for 10 years, I was in social service work and I worked with men with severe mental health addictions and trauma. And so I bring in the holistic aspects of what I did, and uh, which was gratitude. One of them is big one is gratitude and at the end of each life skill I would ask them you know, what are you grateful for and I get a lot of eye rolling because it's like well I have nothing to be grateful for so be like well the sun's shining or it's raining or you've uh, you know had a big breakfast because we did this right after breakfast or whatever it was so as the week would go by some of them would pass and then at the end they'd have their hands up more than one thing to be grateful for. So it was really nice to see the change in how they stood and that they had that feeling of self-worth again. And they really, that's when things started to change for them because they'd come to me and, oh, I got a job or I found housing. And because they're not looking down, they're not just, you know, like beat. And it was so nice to see the transformation. So when I worked with my clients and I worked you know, one and created housing programs and all these things for my guys, I would give them options. And options are so, so important for everybody because when we're in the thick of things, if we don't see anything but what we're in right now, we can't even imagine what it can be like later on. So what the book does, my what if, uh, 365 positive possibilities gives you that what if? What if I made this the best day ever? What would that look like? What if I was unstoppable? What would that look like? And it just opens up your mind to think of something outside the realm of what's going on right now so that you can see the possibilities and then you can choose something different than where you are right now. So that is why I wrote the book and it was divinely inspired because I started writing another book and I can't even remember what the book was about because I've totally forgotten about it now. But I would sit and it was just like I even read some of these. I'm like, I can't sing. So yeah, so it was divinely inspired and uh, so grateful for that. It took five years. I started it back in 2017 and finally done. But not really, because I'm looking forward to getting a workbook or some kind of a journal or something to go with it. Plus, I want to do oracle cards for it. So there's lots of things. There's other things coming next after this. But I'm really excited to share this with all of you. So thank you so much for being here and supporting me. And my intention for today for this reading is just for you to maybe see where you are right now and maybe find some inspiration and some what ifs of your own on you know, what's next for you if you're maybe feeling stuck or not sure what the next step is. Um, I, my intention is that this reading, whichever passage comes up, that it will inspire you and you will get some awesome takeaways from that. So ways that you can use the book. So you don't have to read it cover to cover. You can there's one for each and every day. So I think I've got some extras in there too because a leap year and just because. Or what we're going to do today is just take the book like this and I'd ask everybody just to take a nice deep breath in. And out. Well, I'm going to just read it from up here. And then I'm going to ask what we need, what's the message for today, but this is something that you can do as well. So I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can All right, 
what is the message for today? Oh, what if today I chose to be consistent in my routines? <laughs> oh, look at that. We have so people. This is resonating, but already. Do you have habits that you do each day? Are you implementing new habits and changes in order to manifest new and exciting goals into your life? Are you finding that it's getting too overwhelming and your day is done before it has even begun to do all the things that you are trying to implement? It can definitely be overwhelming to add more things to do in an already busy schedule. Dean Graziosi suggested this and I've used it in my life with wonderful results. Consider this for a moment. Instead of adding to your schedule, why not replace one habit for another? That way, instead of piling more things on, you are replacing them. Guaranteed, there are habits that no longer serve for you or becoming. Take those out and insert what new habits are. For instance, if you wanted to move your body each day, instead of getting on Facebook or checking your email as soon as you get up, Take that habit out and replace it with moving your body in some way. Being consistent each day with your time will create a new habit. Do this with all the new habits you are looking to implement. First, take a look at the habits you, that no longer serve, then choose one of the improved habits and insert. Doing one at a time helps as you don't get overwhelmed trying to think of all the new things you have to do. Implementing one habit for at least a couple of weeks allows time for it to be ingrained into your body. And once you feel comfortable with that habit, then move on and change another. Be consistent and watch your life change. And then because I've reformatted, I've got these white spaces that I reformatted. So add a splash of color to your life. Eat it, wear it, and surround yourself. Just an extra little oop of positivity in there. Uh, that is on 262. Here we go. Awesome. So in reading that, what so what you have the paper there for is to do some journaling. So we'll do a little exercise here. So when I first read the what if, what were the first things that came up for you? What first popped in there to go, oh, well, yeah, you have to do that, have you? You know, or whatever it was. So write down on your journal what popped into your head first. Now, did you agree with what came up, or was it your ego that was chattering at you? Which just never happens in this group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what if you get nothing? I've been working so hard, so I have been doing exactly what you've been saying. So you've been implementing? Oh, one one in there. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So what was the question? <laughs> the question was, do you agree or was it the ego chattering, whatever whatever came up for you? Is it something that you agree with or is it the yammering in the background? It's like, shoulda, yeah, 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 shoulda, woulda, coulda, instead of what you're consciously choosing. I'll give, you, I'll give you one. Sure. Okay. So I have I always have books at home that I don't always get around to reading, usually the important ones. But I have a couple of books by, you know, like Eastern philosophy on concentration. I mean, that's what you want to strike. 
so slash concentration, but think meditation as well, because right. that's concentration in a different kind. Not, not because you're concentrating on like a million different things, but you're concentrating on the one thing. Right. So as soon as you started saying that about the habits, I thought, oh, there's something for my rabbit mind, <laughs> <laughs> which I had, right? So the concentration one that came to mind, but then as you started to read from your from your page, um, I also have a book that I haven't delved too much into, but it's from the library. It's called Atomic Habits. Oh. Oh. Like, is it really? It's an older book. Well, it's been around for a little while. But the, the premise of that is he goes into quite a lot of detail. But what he says is um, you make, if you need to change your habits, you need to make it so they're not hard to do. So you make it, you structure that new habit that you want to take on in a way that it makes it harder to keep the old habit. So if there's a new habit you want to adopt, then you make that easy to get to. Like it's the first thing in the morning. So right. don't put that habit, you know, in the back room. Make that something that you've got that's right beside you. Make the other thing harder to do. And then you'll achieve that. But that's exactly what you were saying about instead of adding new habits, you just replace. Right. And so it's not like you're being overwhelmed by a bunch of new stuff. Oh, exactly. Because then it's like, well, you have to do all this, then I got to do all this oh, on top of it. And then your day's done. It's like, well, <laughs> I'm still trying to do my routines. I haven't even done my goals and all the steps for that. So yeah. absolutely. Does anybody else want to share? Nope. Oh, Jen? The very first thing is you were saying consistency it was right after that. Consistency in that case. Because that hits a trigger button, and then what you said after just made it so bad. Oh. Being consistent each day with your time will create a new habit. Do this with all the new habits you are looking to implement. First, take a look at the habits that no longer serve, and choose one of the improved habits and insert. You didn't like that? Or your well, husband didn't like were, it? Okay. The first thing is like a two year old. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Stamp your foot? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. I did I did write that. <laughs> and I like, oh, fuck, that's a long list. <laughs> yeah. Why so long I can't even found it in my head? It doesn't even fill it. Oh, no, no. <laughs> But it's it's something that's being worked on, whether I like it or not. Mm -hmm. So I'm relaxing resistance. Let's just Ooh. Say. So and you're telling the ego to go on a vacation for a bit. Yes. 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 Awesome. But it's I, I understand what is needed and why. Yes, I don't want to. So you've got it reversed. Do you understand? That's right. That's right. But yeah. you don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody up there doesn't want to. Your heart wants to. You're like, yeah, I'm all up for that. And then you're like, no, no, that means change. And we, heaven forbid, want don't want to do that because that means something different. So it's well, it's it's more about you know. You've worked so long, and even though I'm still working, I don't look at it like that. Right. So it's like if I'm in my underwear doing taxes, <laughs> don't come early for you. <laughs> so yeah, I don't book appointments till eleven o'clock and sure. then go through the day. You could get dressed by then. But you know, it's just. It's that's so nice. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. It's it's learning that the consistency will greatly give my life a, a more expanded view. Yeah. That's yeah. Absolutely. And your heart and your soul know that. It's your ego is like, no. We don't want to do that. What is that word? Relax. Yeah. 
well. Absolutely. Would you ladies like to share? Sure. People didn't come into it. Used to. And maybe still sometimes does, but I've already started implementing the changes and starting to do things that I've been told I should have done fifteen years ago. And uh, I appreciate everybody sharing because all that resonates as well. Mm -hmm. Little parts of that. And you don't realize that you have habits until you have it to your routine gets pulled. And I need to get rid of sugar and that's what I've done. I go to the water, I try to go three times a week. Sometimes I don't, but it used to be a cheap dip here. It's like, no, I'll go when I can. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and don't beat yourself up about it because life happens. But if you start to get into a routine, then the days that it's like, okay, well, I've got things going on and that's okay. Instead of like, oh my goodness, we might as well just give up now because you're just done. We're not going to even do it now. So, you know, you don't have to do that. It's a choice. You have things to do today. All right, well, we're going to do those 100%. And then tomorrow, and go back into the routine. So it's still each day, and you're still choosing, but you're not beating yourself up. It's just like, well, Vanessa and I go for ice cream. It's like, I am going to enjoy that ice cream 100%, give it 200%. Yep. Exactly. You're not going to be like, oh my goodness, we shouldn't have had that ice cream. Uh, and just beat ourselves up because there's no point. And then it's just that ego just beating up on you, which is not necessary because we choose every second we're choosing something different. So we might choose to do this and enjoy it fully and then choose to go and get back on that path of whatever your habit is to the goals that you've created. So hopefully you all have goals. And, you know, because that's really good. But those action steps, some days it's like, well, I, I need to do this instead. So do that and then back on the next thing. So it's it's a choice and it's important to live your life to the fullest and be kind to yourself and give yourself grace to do that. So from what I hear, these things resonated with you and you're working on them, which is awesome. And then if you could change the habits, what is something, I guess, what would your day look like with the new habits in there? So if you were to choose to change like one or two habits, what does that look like when your day begins now or ends? <laughs> I have a big opportunity on the past because I love doing craft shows, but because I love creating, I love right. learning, and yet. The older I get, the harder it is to do them. It's work. I don't know what to do. So what do you like to create? Anything. Oh. I make one of everything sell that. And it's a it's a unique product. I have so many supplies. You can open a store. There's the water. I mean, you keep you keep pecking away and go buy more. <laughs> that's the habit. Yes. That's the habit. <laughs> yeah, for you. Yeah. Makes you do that. <laughs> Did you ever think about teaching a class where you can yeah. use the supplies that you have and then make money from those supplies so that you can go out and buy other supplies if you want? But at least you're using up the stuff that you have, or maybe looking on like Pinterest or other places for new ideas for those same. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would get, I was actually saying one a unique try one pass as long as you have all the things. That one is each. I'll sell one of a kind. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me laugh because I'm a production person. I don't know why. It just is somebody in my past life so much. But I don't like if I want to, if I do something and, and I do a lot of that, like hand stuff, is that I immediately start thinking how to make this into production. Yeah. Oh, it's hot court on the weekend and they bought the three remaining kits. Well, the, the feathers themselves had to get done. So while everybody else was doing their one feather, I was like, we moved down the line, fixing all the feathers so that they could just take it. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah, yeah that's that's really good. weird. Chart, well, your your astrology chart. That's right. Yeah. And so the, the other thing too for me when you said about what how would you change it for me would be less reading, more doing. Ah. Because I I can procrastinate all day long by reading, but reading just opens up endless possibilities, and right. then that's exhausting to me. That was exhausting. I get yeah. more physically if I'm more physically doing something, then that energizes me. Because I'm, I see, I don't know, the effort is actually in um, an actual item. Right. And then, you know what? It's done. Because I've thought it, it's in my mind, I've designed, or I've designed it, I've done it, I figured out how to put it together, blah, blah, blah. But I could do that for a week. Mm -hmm. Can you tell you how exhausting that is of the endless possibility of doing that? Just do it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> time. Just do it. There you go. There you go. And that's awesome. something else. Yeah. So doing to me is, a lot better than just contemplating procrastination is the other thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, yeah. Because yeah. procrastination is enough. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 <That's interesting. laughs> One of these things that I think I know how to do because I like YouTube. Right. Yeah, that's right. And I, I, I totally agree with you because that's what, oh, yeah, well, you know, yeah, I can do that. But yeah, but then do you want to? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. I have a whole uh, dollhouse in my back. <laughs> We're giving out confessions. I uh, <laughs> a whole unmade doll out of my seat. Two days ago, so I didn't understand. You're going to start the job. Well, yeah. I don't start to do one, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I remember this thing. You have an eye out where she would help you for sure. Well, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, that's true. <laughs> what I've what done, she said. Mm -hmm. That will I just, I don't know. <laughs> so now what action steps could you put into place to change these habits and to insert the new habits? Yeah, she just got that. What was the question before that we were talking about? Sorry, but I no worries. If you could do this, what would it look like for you? A whole new school craft. 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 That's even more exhausting. What? That's a, a whole new school craft you got to take to a show. That's oh, what yeah. it looks like. Yeah. For me, it would be a timer. Oh, yeah. That's always good because then I have a limit to how much I can. Before. That's know, a great idea. And having a deadline. I work really great on the deadline. <laughs> <laughs> Procrastination. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jen, what about you? What would you what action steps would you do? I thought that it made what I really liked about what you said about replacing. Mm -hmm. I got this picture this image of 
here's the old one and the new one's sliding in and <laughs> taking it out. <laughs> it's a great analogy. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So it's if I make a list of all the new habits I want instead of the old ones, then there's something that clicked and said it'll be easier to slide the old one out. Yeah, for sure. sure. It just it's is. Lot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, just make a list of what I want to implement so I can be clear. And awesome. So you're making a list. Yeah. And then after the list, what's the next action step? Which one I'm choosing first. So you will choose one, yeah. Instead of just, yeah, I got my list. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yes. I like the slide. Cool. <laughs> and how about you? What is your action step? Plus YouTube. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So you're going to pick something? Yeah. OK, Teresa? OK. Right. Oh, OK. Yeah, follow through was a big thing for my book. And it's like, you know, I was gung ho. And then I went away on vacation to Buckhorn. I got back. Or, Ordering anymore. <laughs> it's like, well, this is a lot of work that I've done for nothing. And then COVID hit, and I went, well, this is the perfect time to get my butt in that chair and sit and do it. So that's what I did. And Pippi, stop eating the. Oh, She's okay. over the after the ribbons yeah. again. Yeah. 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 So what I found is really helpful is, um, and Vanessa can attest to this because back in, I think it was during COVID, she's like, you need to do Facebook lives. And I'm like, but I don't want to. Well, she kept saying, you know, you need to get your name out there. The only way to get your name out there is to do Facebook lives. What, what, what do you need to be? You need to be at a virus. I will and not be exactly. a virus. No, I'm You're more like pleasant than that. Virus and be everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, like there. I'm everywhere. Uh -huh. There you go. Oh, they are everywhere. But if you have a virus, you can take it Trying to get rid of it. No, no a virus. Yeah, for you looking at a virus is fabulous. I'm looking at it as a good way that it's implanted everywhere. So anyways, when uh, <laughs> okay. so it took me, I think, three months to get up enough courage to be able to do Facebook Lives because I was terrified. So when I finally made the decision, OK, I'm going to do one. This is the date. And I told everybody about it. And then I went on my computer to do the live and I hit live and it came up with all these questions. And I'm like, what is this? I don't know what it is. And then everybody's messaging me, we're on here, we don't see you, where are you? And I'm like, oh, I don't even know what to do here. So that's like, why are you doing that? But after that, it became easy to do once I got in the, Vanessa was very helpful because I can see her comments. I can see your nose. I can see up your nose. Change your phone the other way. And it's like, okay, oh, why are you smiling? Yeah. Sit up straight. Shoulders back. It's like, okay. So I'm trying to do that while I'm talking. I see Vanessa's comments coming up. It was very helpful and uh, such love, I'm sure. Okay, okay now so. Uh, and say, are you dead? <laughs> like, <laughs> but I am comfortable up here now, so uh, so that is so. Um, with that, what I do with anything that's challenging, 
or anything that I really don't want to do is I put it at the top of my list for the day. So the first three things are action steps that I need to do towards my goals, no matter what it is. Just what I found before, like when I was thinking of doing Facebook Lives and it's like, okay, do Facebook Live. And then it'd be like, you know, my closets need to be cleaned today. And I do everything, but what was glaring at me in the face, and then it got so overwhelming that I was even more terrified. And then once I did it, I'm like, I don't even know what the problem is because it's not that scary. Like, is that it? So when you do those things, it stretches your comfort zone and then it's easier to do the other things. And then it's great because the rest of the day, it's like, well, now I don't have to find something else to do so that I'm not doing the things that I need to do. Does that make sense? Okay, so how's everybody feeling from this little exercise? So what's opening up for you? How are you, what's your feelings about it, Val? Oh, well, um, I love getting the feedback because I've already made notes. <laughs> well, of course you did. Um, I remember we did a, a exercise years ago, and it was like uh, you took the expectation of the probability of what age you were going to be when you pass away, and then you work backwards, and then you figure out, like, all the things that you have to account for sleeping, eating, working, doing stuff that is necessary, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> you know, like, did you have five years left to actually accomplish what you want to do in life? Not what you need to do, but what you want. You know, like, mm -hmm. like a craft thing or something, whatever it is that you know, you're going to play the piano, which is there. Yeah, so you figure, all right. So now when you put it, like when you said about put those things at the top of your list, okay, then you really do have to reorder like change those habits right so that you can realize that and the other thing that i find because there are just things that i hate doing like housework so yeah you know trying to suffer but mostly housework i think that's the worst thing and so what i do is like i watched this tv series a long time ago called upstairs downstairs it went on for like 10 years it was like a great comedy it wasn't a, it wasn't a comedy but it was there was one character in it, and she was the head housekeeper in this um, very rich family's house. Her name was Rose. And so I have to do focus on getting something done, like within a limited period of time. I say, okay, today I'm Rose. <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to do how she cleans the house, you know? So I have not used my role model, right? My mother was very not like that. She was a hoarder. She, oh, you know, okay. she only... I don't know. She never did much of anything like that. So now I have. So now I have my little mother. She's Rose, and so I okay. Put the put the maid's cap on and just get get it done. So and maybe having a, a like a role model to right. her is helpful too. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's a good idea. Even cranking the tunes, like putting on your favorite music and going, all right, well, let's get her done. You know, and just my whole around. All my renovation life has been done to. Al Jolson, <laughs> Buddy Holly. I almost bought a record at all. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I don't mention it. But yeah, like I have done complete rooms and nothing would hit that. Awesome. That tape again years ago. The tape, right. The yeah. CD. It's it's like it was yeah. like the Buddy Holly or the, uh, you know, what is it? Anybody that's from that time frame. Nice. Well, that's poppy music. So you can oh, really, it is. You know, yeah. pop around and get things done. Al Jolson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, about you, Jen? Some questions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, feel it. Now, let's open it up for you. Uh, this is inspirational because it's making me. The words are different, but they're feeling different, even though the concept is there. Right. So, yeah, useful. Awesome, thank you. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> well, it's not what we want. That's very yeah, So what I might suggest is that you write down all the things that you're thinking about. Just dump everything out of your brain and write it down. 
And don't think about it while you're doing it. Going, well, which one do I want to do first? Just get it all out of your head and then go back and read it and then prioritize. What's most important? What things do I not want to do anymore? Because I know we have these goals and then you get a shift and then it's like, well, that's not important anymore. So look at the things that no longer serve who you are becoming. Cross those off, get rid of whatever it is that's tying you to that. And then, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Yeah. But if you do that, then you can prioritize and figure out exactly. And then it won't seem so overwhelming because when it's just in your head, it does get overwhelming because it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But when you write it all down, it's like, oh, well, that's doable. Okay, well, I can do these things right now. Maybe these things are more for winter time because we're going into summer and, you know, whatever your crafts are, uh, depending on the weather, if you do stuff outside. So, you know, you can prioritize that way and then that way you'll be able to out. How about you, Teresa? I'm trying not to say because it's a candy bar. And it's going to be there before you. But if you ask me for something, I think I got it. <laughs> we can share. But yeah, this is all helping. Awesome. Yeah. There's an energetic connection between your soul and, and the hand of paper. Yeah. That is different than you typing. Oh, for sure. And that is huge. That's yeah. huge. Absolutely. So, it helps you sleep at night, too, getting all that out of your head, just rambling around. Ooh. <laughs> well, plus, you've got numbers like just around in your head. I don't, I don't know how you do it, but. Uh, you know, there's all those numbers rattling around. I've had time periods where I journaled and journaled. And then the numbers in the head thing are just nothing. Right. But to put feelings and thoughts on paper. Whole another animal. Whole yeah. another animal. So it just, you know, it's a process. Yeah, absolutely. Process. And but that's I why. I understand. Mm. Between the pen and paper. Yeah. Yeah, because then you, that energy is written down now because and words have really energy. Well. Yeah, absolutely. Vanessa, do you have anything to share? I was going to say, I do like those three things on the web. I think that's a great idea. Um, even if you procrastinate, they're still making you accountable. God, hear that and actually do that. <laughs> but, but yeah, it is a good idea. That was on top. Yeah. Like yes. walking, I'm more of a person that needs to We'll have someone there for accountability, don't I? But yes, you do. Yes. So I would like it that I just like it. I do. Um, but there's a lot of times where, yeah, if I don't have someone there, I'm screwed. I'm not going. Yeah. You know, I'm busy. Yeah. Well, yeah. from the walking club, there's a path just down this road here. Isn't there? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah, but when I walk, I walk. I mean, that's where I go. Yeah, well, you're not, you're not dawdling. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. Walk, and we want to get it done. We're not out there just to, no. you know, <laughs> enjoy ourselves or something. Like, we got a mission. <laughs> Well, it's eight, three o'clock in the morning and throw stones at your window. Yeah. So, come on, I'm going to stop here. The other thing, too, about going I think it's hard when you have things you want to do for yourself. We always put yeah. somebody else ahead of us. There's always, you know, like you don't want to eat supper, but you got a family. So, right. you have food cooking, right? Yeah. Or, you know, how many wants to do this? And so, do you just dropping what you're doing because 
I don't know, they can't find something. But you know, like they need to be on a schedule. They need to be on the on this clock that says, oh yeah, well at three o'clock I need an hour. You know? Yeah. Like really? Yeah. Yeah. There's no harm in that because basically that's what they're doing to you. That's what they're doing to you. Oh, absolutely. So so does anybody have any questions? No? Well, thank you very much for participating in this reading and being here and supporting me. I appreciate all of you. So thank you very much. That's show up. Just show up and get so far. So we go so <laughs> Just go to just go and say, I will be here. And this is my, you know, we'll open the book, whatever. Yeah, and then just look at this exercise. That that's a club. There's your book club, right? Yeah. That, that's, that's, a, that's what I that's yeah. 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 That's a good idea. Put it on the like that. Oh, put it up, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. That's why I miss oh, and every time I see it's like we got this person, I talked to this friend, I'm like, okay, no, can I've got it on my list? So <laughs> okay. yeah, I appreciate that. that. Yeah, you know, so yeah, be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be fun. Well, I'll have to see what dates Vanessa has available here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Thank you.